It's always nice to sit with our friend, Dr. Edith Peterson Mitchell. She wears a number of hats in oncology at Thomas Jefferson University in Philadelphia. But we're talking with her today about a new title that she has, and that is as winner of the 2012 ASCO Humanitarian Award. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How does that feel? You're beaming. It's always important and such a good feeling to uh, have the selection by your peers. Mm -hmm. And this was a peer committee that um, selected me for this award. So I am so appreciative and my gratitude is there to the committee and to my um, co-workers for submitting my name and for all of the work that they do with me in the volunteer effort. Uh, because this was for work that you do outside your normal um, job and your um, normal uh, and routine work responsibilities. Now, sources tell us that you are a unanimous, a unanimous decision, obviously well-deserved, in providing help to the medically underprivileged. What are some examples of some of the work that you've done? Well, some of the things that we did um, during the floods in the Midwest in the 1990s, uh, we volunteered to uh, give uh, prophylaxis for hepatitis. Uh, we also sandbagged. So I packed sand into bags and lifted them to try and protect communities. Uh, we also uh, gave food. Uh, we provided um, well water um, uh, safety uh, and just a number of things. Um, there was also a um, uh, community that we worked with uh, where the community was really disparate because many of the uh, mines and factories had closed. So people had really no insurance no resources, and I used to uh, do a clinic there. It was about 100 miles from my home, and we would do a clinic once a month, uh, provide medical care to these people uh, free of charge. And of course, back then, pharmaceutical companies could give you um, um, drugs free of charge. So I would collect samples from people, antihypertensives, antibiotics, um, diabetic medications, and we would have just a regular clinic, see people and uh, offer medical care. And one of my um, greatest resources, we, it was August, and we were, that particular day, we volunteered to give um, physicals to the kids returning to school who required them for athletics and other uh, school associated programs because the parents had no money for them and uh, I examined this young girl beautiful girl 14 years old who uh, needed a physical exam for cheerleading blood pressure was 160 over 90 of course which was very abnormal for a young child like that and we found a um, um, adrenal tumor that was hormone producing and I was able to get her into the University of Missouri where I was on the faculty at that time uh, to get uh, specific care for her and to get this young girl taken care of. Uh, the tumor resected. It was uh, borderline malignant so to get this taken care of her and to prevent what could have been uh, metastatic cancer in years to come. So to be able to do some things like that for people is tremendously rewarding. Now I know you, I know you well enough that you care about helping every patient that you see, but there's got to be something special about providing your expertise, your time, your services, all your experience for someone who doesn't have any other resources to get that kind of stuff? Well, it's so important because when we talk about uh, bringing this country to 
a level where all individuals are cared for, where we're decreasing the mortality from many chronic diseases until we actually get in the trenches and provide that preventive care for individuals who might not always be in the realm of routine um, medical care, we're not going to get to those levels. So for um, those of us in medical care, we've got to think out of the, out of the box. We've got to um, move into places that might challenge our comfort zones. But until we can get medical care to all people and to get our uh, preventive care plans, our screening and early detection to a larger population, and especially to disparate populations, we're not going to get there in the United States. So it's so important to uh, get out with people because people, that's what it's all about. Congratulations. I'm sure this will inspire you to even greater deeds in the future. Well, thank you so much. And, you know, my family has been involved with this, my husband helping me, my daughters uh, being involved. So we were uh, collecting toys one year for Christmas for the kids for whom we were doing these um, um, free physicals and medical care, and we wanted to give back something. Um, and my kid says, oh, no, Mom, we can't give those old toys. Says, For one thing, we're kind of attached to our old toys, and it's hard to go into your toy box and take out something and give it away. Why don't we buy new toys for the kids? So we collected bottles alongside the road, turned them in for cash, went to Toys R Us, and bought new toys for, for kids. So hopefully my kids will, and my children will continue to do this, but they are a part of what I do. They go to some of the clinics with me. They are not in medicine, but they are in other fields and they help organize and help me with things. So it's really a family affair. Very good, very good for you, putting the, uh, putting the true care in healthcare. Dr. Edith Peterson Mitchell, 2012 ASCO Humanitarian Award winner, joining us here on OncoView.tv. Congratulations. Thank you so much.